Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the featured chord of the month for November, December 2016. In this series I try to just introduce you to some new chords or different chords that you will hear at one time or another in some of the, the classic blues recordings from the 40s, 50s, 60s, all the way up until today. And this month I'm going to go to diminished chords. And these are really useful chords that sound great and you can use them in a lot of different ways for both acoustic and electric guitar. I'm going to introduce the chords to you and show you a couple ways that you can use them, but I'm, I'm more interested in this series in showing you the shape and in some of my lick lessons I'll show some licks using the diminished chords eventually. So two positions that I use, there's probably more, but these are the two simplest. And let's start in the key of G. So that's our first position bar chord and the G diminished sounds like that. So if you listen, it's got kind of a cool sound to it. What I'm doing is really taking the ninth chord, first position ninth chord shape, there's a G9 and just moving everything over a string and then bringing it to the fifth fret, my first finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string, my second finger on the fifth fret of the second string. My pinky is on the 6th fret of the 1st string, and my ring finger is on the 6th fret of the 3rd of the string. So if you've got it right, your first finger will be on the G, which is your root. And so you hear this. So any key that I'm in, if I'm in A, here's my A diminished. I'm in C, C diminished, I'm playing an F, and that's how you find that first position chord. You take the bar chord and then get the root on the fourth string, and you've got that. Now this chord, if you listen to acoustic blues, the, the guy that's most famous for using this chord is Lonnie Johnson. And he does a lot of these, these riffs where he's doing stuff like, you know, moving that chord around or even doing a turnaround. Whoops. Trying to do this with a flat pick. I usually finger pick it, but you'll hear him use these diminished chords in a lot of ways. He's got a tune called Woke Up with the blues in my fingers where he's just there's like five or six different phrases in that song including the introduction and the end tag which use these diminished chords <laughs> things like that one simple rule for the diminished chords both the first position which I'm showing you now and the second position is that you can move them like if I start here in the G diminished four frets, one, two, three, four, from where I start, including, so actually three, one, two, three. Basically the same thing, just a little higher. And you can keep doing that all the way up and down the neck. And one uh, electric guitar player current guy who does, uses that kind of thing a lot is Junior Watson, who's my personal favorite electric, current electric blues guitar player out in California, and he uses those diminished chords a lot. A simpler place you can hear him in electric blues is T-Bone Walker, Pee Wee Creighton, and a few other guys, uh, Pat Hare, who I'm doing a lesson on this month as well, they'll use it like this. So here's G, here's a G diminished. <laughs> Use it as part of a solo or as an introduction or you know as part of an end tag. Basically strumming the chord and bending up a little bit with the finger. And you hear that in a lot of T-Bone Walker stuff. He uses that chord lick quite a bit. So that's the first position. G diminished chord. Second position diminished chord you find on the fifth string, the root on the fifth string. So if we're doing G, here's my first position, G diminished chord. 
My second position, G diminished chord, is here. And what I've done is taken my second finger and put it on the 10th fret, which is the G of the 5th string, 10th fret of the 5th string. My first finger is on the 9th fret of the 3rd string. And then I'm going to put my pinky on the 11th fret of the 2nd string and my ring finger on the 11th fret of the 4th string. And I should hear this. And this is one that you hear sometimes in electric blues where they're using this position. And just like with the first diminished chord position, you can move these up three or down three. So that's a diminished chord shape. Another guy that used those in uh, acoustic blues was Blind Blake. And there's a song called Guitar Chimes where he uses the first position and he is in the key of C and he walks into it. So something like that, he does a couple legs. Like that. So give you some stuff to listen to. Listen to Lonnie Johnson, Woke Up in the, This Morning with the Blues in My Fingers. You can also listen to uh, Lifesaver Blues. He uses that chord shape as a turnaround. Diminished chord as a turnaround. Uh, you can listen to Blind Blake's Guitar Chimes, where he uses that. And as far as electric blues, T-Bone Walker, Pee Wee Creighton, um, Guitar Slim, I think even uses that some. But they're different guys that use that diminished shape. I'll try to put a list on the, on the video information. So we got two chord shapes. First position, G diminished. And the second position. So those are two chords that can add to your chord vocabulary and give you some cool things to play. There's some licks based on these diminished chords. And later I'll, I'll do some of that from show you some stuff. I've already done a couple of the end tags that include that diminished chord in there. So if you look on my end tag lessons, you'll, you might see the T-Bone Walker one. And there's a Pee Wee Creighton one I did too that includes those licks. Hope you find this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And I'll be back again in a couple months with another featured chord. If anyone has a chord they want to learn or have heard of, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just kind of pick out whatever I feel like teaching. See you soon.